there are many theorems in number theory one of them is wilson's theorem let's state the theorem first if p is a prime then p minus 1's factorial plus 1 is congruent to 0 mod p we can write this theorem as something like this also now let's take an example suppose p equals to 3 then we can see something like this that 3 satisfies now the in interesting part of this theorem is that its converse is also true so we can use this theorem to hunt primes suppose we take n equals to 6 then we see that n not satisfies the theorem so we it shows that 6 is not a prime number now let's prove the theorem using combinatories or you may say little geometry trick suppose we take a circle a big one will work fine and we take p dots on it that is for our case p equals to 5 so we will take 5 dots notice that these all dots are equidistant that is they are cutting or they are dividing the circle in equal parts let's join some colorful lines to see that it is indeed the case now if i rotate those lines and the dots 2 pi by p radians that is 2 pi by 5 radians it will construct the same shape as you can see see i am rotating it five times and each time it is taking the sh same shape so that means that it is they are indeed equidistant in angular sense now to reach our goal that is to prove this theorem we have to answer this question we have to find how many non-regular polygons can we create from this and we will count rot rotational symmetry once once so there are many polygons that we can make one of them is shown this type of polygon have special name as shown now to count how many polygons are there there is a trick first we have to choose one dot from this p dots let's suppose we choose this one now how many ways can we do well there are p dots that is 5 so we have we have the choice of p so we can write choice equals to p dot now there are p minus 1 dots so we have to choose one of them so there is p minus 1 choice suppose we choose that one for our case 4 so p minus 1 and doing this again and again we will get p is factorial now see that among them there are some similar ones how can we find them well notice that when i was drawing it for this one i have two choices either i can go left or either i can go right let's go to the right and there and for that point we have again two choices either we can go upward or we can go rightward let's go upward again for this point that is this one we have two choices we go right so each point have two choices so how many points are there in our case 5 and for general case p so we have the choice is p factorial by 2p because for each we have 2p now among them there are some polygons which are unaltered in rotation of 2 pi by p this type of polygons has a special property these polygons have to be regular in our case there are only two regular polygons let's draw first one of them first one is our familiar pentagon 
and it is indeed regular as you can see and rotational symmetric i will rotate it 5 times to convince you now another one is this one the star it is also rotationally symmetric and regular now these two polygons has a special property to find it let's draw a point opposite to the yellow one that is this one the blue dot now we this blue dot is the opposite to this yellow one so we join that yellow one and this blue one we join them with a dotted line let's join them see this line divide the circle in two equal parts and these two polygons has a special property for the green one that is our regular pentagon this one notice that i have taken the points one after another that is consecutive points that is the skip of point is zero i haven't skip any one now for the other one that is our star i have skipped one point that is after taking the first one i have taken this one the lower yellow yes and again that one then that one and then the last one so i have skipped one dot at a time as you can see if you want to rewind it just so for this case i have only two of them and if i skip one dot and if i skip four dot that is p minus 1 dot they will construct same polygon so re removing that one that the upper yellow one i have p minus 1 vertices and for each of them skipping i will get a different regular polygon so how many regular polygons are there and there is p minus 1 and because 1 and p minus 1 skip is same so i have to divide it by 2 so now our final answer that is how many are there is this the desired polygon w is something like this hmm. why dividing by p because you know and we get our divide result you may think that p can be any number from our proof but it is not the case because if we take p as a composite number our proof will be broken let's take a circle and let's take p equals to 9 to see an example why p can't be a composite number now like before let's take a point exactly opposite to the upper yellow there the blue one and join those two with a dotted line now we are taking the points with a skip of 2 like before so we will get a restricted path that is a triangle because of these three points so we see that we are getting a red triangle and we can never get a nine gon that is a regular polygon for their a p gon and so our calculation is broken on that point where we are subtracting that regular polygon number
and hence p have to be a prime.